Hey everybody, I just want to talk to you a little bit about this little uh, side project I'm doing in a way that, uh, I don't know who's the investors here, front row, okay, you can make some money pretty quickly. Um, we're talking about robots here, and uh, I'm not talking about flying cars in the next 20 years, but I'm talking about robots that are useful and affordable for consumers. That's why we're consumer robot corporation. And really, this is to enable people to have uh, robots that uh, enhance Enhance their lives, makes life easier, affordably, and it's ready now. So we have a lot of IP, um, and basically this IP uh, ranges from making sure the AI doesn't get out of control and take over the world, that the robots are easy to interact with, um, and that they're contextual for your needs. Um, and uh, well, we can talk a little bit more about the secret stuff later. But uh, there's me, I'm Ethan, I'm known as America's Greatest Maker from the hit TV show, America's Greatest Makers. Uh, there's John Sokol, one of the top uh, legends in uh, robot and AI design in uh, Silicon Valley. And uh, well, there's my robots over there. Um, and really, let's talk about when you have a robot, if I tell you I have a robot, what's the first question you're gonna ask me? What does it do? Well. That's what we specialize in, the use cases where the robots do the things that are helpful for you. Uh, get you a beer, answer the door, do a little bit of security, uh, maybe be a little bit of a friend to you. In any case, um, we have the robots ready now. They're quite affordable. People want to buy them. There's so many people that have always dreamed of having a helpful robot. Uh, we don't need a lot of money, so you know, minimum ticket is 20K. Uh, if you investors are serious, you know, I'm not just entertaining you, you can put the money back uh, and we will get you the money back very quickly because they're ready to sell um, and we could be acquired because we have a lot of very good IP. Thank you. So how much has been invested? How long have you been working on it? And where do you I mean, stack up? I, I've seen other emotional robots, uh, you know, people working on some of that. Are, is it a limited space? Is that a differentiator? Um, what's your... Is it the fit for application, call it, or fit for use, uh, or what is your... Yeah, it's not about em uh, emotions, you know. I don't, I don't know how important, you know, emotions are for, for the robot. The thing is that, uh, you know, this company, this is a little side project, it's about three weeks old. We have about $100,000 worth of high-end robots that we've reverse engineered in order to make a uh, $500 a uh, consumer robot that does all the things that these robots do. So you might have seen robot companies before, but um, there was never the use case to really do things that are helpful for you. You know, like I, like I mentioned, there's applications for um, medical, there's applications for in your home as your butler to really get you a beer, to answer the door, to be helpful, to answer some questions, to have a conversation with. You know, when you were little, you might have dreamed of having a robot, right? But the problem with, you know, a lot of things, VR, flying cars, whatever else, that the reality does not match the expectation. And I think we've built a system where actually you get a robot and it's exactly what you expect and you're happy with it. It's affordable and it changes your life. Initially, do you sell it to the wife, the husband, or the elderly? For example. Well, yeah, so there's, there's a few use cases. I mean, we have use cases for video games and theme parks. We have uses for um, human in the loop where you have one nurse monitoring several, you know, elderly people, which is, which is quite nice. But um, I think for the home use, um, yeah, the wife, the husband, uh, the robot is, is, is quite helpful because it can actually do things that help you around the house. It's not just a, it's not just a toy and it's quite affordable. I, I'm, I'm not joking when I tell you that I can make, these robots I have are $10,000 each. I can now make this robot myself for a bomb cost of $350. So we can make money right away. You put the money in and you get the money right back. Uh, can, I ask, can I ask, you know, what uh, can't your robots do? Limitations. Limitations? Well, they can't fly. It's not the flying car. But uh, like I say, uh, the robot can have a conversation with you that's contextual based on what you're doing. So if it's in the office, it can deliver mail to everyone in the office. It's in, if it's in your home, it can uh, uh, get the beer or answer the door. It's integrated with Alexa and also Google Assistant, the new Google um, AIY. So not only does it carry the features of Alexa and Google Assistant, but it can have uh, custom conversations. Uh, technology we have is also called 
you in the loop, so it learns about you. Um, it learns about you and what your needs are. Um, and so there are a lot of really good features. We also use a human in the loop uh, for certain applications, like for the elderly, where you have a nurse that can actually talk through the robot. Also, you can do telepresence. And if I didn't want to come to this event, I could just send one of the robots to kind of check it out for me. So what I really need is a house cleaner. And also, you know, someone go out to cut my weeds. So can, can the robot handle these kind of tasks, cleaning? Cutting well, no, weeds. because I mean, you want to cut you want to cut the grass. You need to get a lawnmower, right? A robot's not a lawnmower. We're not going to put blades on a robot. So I, I think a, a automated la lawnmower would be fine. Doing the laundry is a similar thing. So you're not going to have a robot with hands folding the laundry. Who should fold the laundry? Your dryer. You should have a smart dryer that folds the laundry. Maybe it can give it to the robot. So um, no, the robot can't mow your lawn, but um, I'm sure there's plenty of smart lawnmower companies out there. All right, great. Thank you so much. Yeah.